For a generation, hundreds of thousands of young people have been treated like adults. Not in regards to voting, driving, or even purchasing alcohol, but in the justice system. For years, thousands of young people under the age of 18 have either been charged as adults or been placed in an adult jail or prison while awaiting trial. Annually, about 200,000 juveniles are incarcerated within the adult population system in the nation's jails and prisons. According to some at this Washington, D.C. facility, that's way too many. What we know is that when young people are prosecuted as adults, they're 34 percent more likely to reoffend. Liz Ryan is the head of the Campaign for Youth Justice and says mixing kids in with the adult system has never worked. We know that young people, when they're placed in adult jails or prisons, they're at risk of being harmed by adult inmates and influenced by adult. Stewart was 16 when he was arrested, but for privacy issues, we can't tell you his last name or the crime he committed. But we can tell you Stewart was sentenced to nine months in a juvenile facility, but was held for six months in an adult jail while awaiting trial. Yeah, man, I had to fight, 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 and I'm small, but I had, I had to do what I had to do, man. He says inmates would do things like take his food, steal his shoes, and beat him up. That's not for kids. I've been over it. I've been to Spurs, man. That cell is not for him, man. Both Liz and Stewart believe that if young people are given alternatives, such as education, psychological support, and good old-fashioned mentoring, there is another way forward. In High Definition, Michael McManus, Boom HD News, Washington.